Welcome to Central Valley Talk, where we show you what's good in the Central Valley. I'm Sheriff Fransman, and our first guest has a great solution for if you're looking for that special little something for your wedding or special event. I'm here with Chantelle Durbin of the Last Call Travel Bar. Thanks for joining me, Chantelle. Thanks. It's great to have you here. Thanks for having me. So I think everyone, especially for weddings, but any special event, they want to have that something that's different, that no one else has. And you kind of provide that with the Last Call Travel Bar. How did you get started with this? Um, I think I'd have to say... Um, we really, um, when we were planning my daughter's wedding, um, she lives in L.A., so we kind of did a lot of the legwork. And uh, she really wanted an outdoor garden, which is just so popular now. Absolutely. Um, so we were... Um, we had it at a horse ranch and okay. literally nothing there. Yeah, we you had, had to, to bring, bring everything, everything in. in. Oh, wow. And um, the owners of the property had an old uh, covered wagon and they said, okay. they suggested it to us. You could take the cover off and just leave the bones of the wagon and convert oh, it into fun. a bar. So my husband did that, set it up to have two kegs and a, a bar. It just looked great and uh, kind of fit their, you know, theme out yeah, there. Yeah, like a rustic and, yes, look. Yes, and um, it, was a f it was fun, and we had a lot of feedback, positive feedback, and people said, you know, you should do this. How can you do this? You know, so we right. started talking about it, and um, it took a few years. Um, we saw an old uh, vintage light green wash tub at an estate sale and okay. said, gosh, that would make a great drink, bottled beverage dispenser, you know, just something to hold the drinks. And we thought, well, okay, this will be the first thing we purchase. It'll start us, <laughs> it'll kick us in the pants to get going. And that's what we did. That green wash basin that really green, kicked yes, you in the pants. It did, it did. <laughs> that is so neat. So it's you and your husband that do this business together? Yes, um, he makes everything. Well, that's nice yes. to have a handyman as part of the business. Yes, um, he grew up um, a wood guy. He, His dad was a carver and his uncle was a cabinetry guy. He worked in, you know, making furniture and, and doing that. So if it can be made out of wood, he can make it. So... Um, uh, we the first thing that we looked at were old horse trailers we thought you know mm -hmm. maybe we can sure. you know do that and then we didn't want to get um, just to have kind of one look of a, you know kind of looked more country um, we thought let's do something that can fit in any event that um, makes sense either stand out with a few um, design things you know um, uh, whatever fits your wedding or um, can blend in also without standing out, whatever, you know, um, the client wants. So that's when we thought, okay, maybe we should go new. So we bought a new trailer and um, cut out the window for the bar. He added the a live edge um, counter and he did all the inside. It he's really, really looks great. He's really good. And um, I don't think he likes to admit it either, but he really has it design-wise. My kids always wanted him to go clothes shopping. They didn't really want me to go. They always <laughs> wanted him. He always he knows what's... He has a good eye for he things, does. Huh? He does. Wow. He really does. Sounds like a good business partner to have. Yeah. <laughs> Now, do you find that, I, mean, I would assume you mostly are doing outdoor weddings. You're not taking the trailer inside buildings, right? Well, we can if it fits. Really? You know, it, yeah. If, um, you know, if there's an access and we can, sure, we can do that. I feel like that would be such a neat touch in the right venue, having this little trailer inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what a fun way. I know for my wedding, it was the same way where we had to bring everything in because we were doing an untraditional venue and they didn't mm -hmm. have any of the things that would normally be set up there. And I think for a lot of brides, that's what they're wanting these days is trying to find that place that not everyone has gotten married. And that's great that you can help out with that. And you have to have the bar at the wedding. It's a necessity. I know. It is the hangout, the, you know, sometimes it's just a way far enough where it's not with the louder music. You can have a conversation. Um, I know. It's, it's true. People love it. 
Now, tell me a little bit about how it works getting the Last Call Travel Bar. Uh, they contact you. What's the best way? Um, we have a website, and, um, you know, on our website is um, our email, and um, they can just fill out a little questionnaire and send us an email, and we'll get back to them. And typically, uh, delivery, you were mentioning to me, it, for the most part, is included uh, to get it out to oh, the yes. venue? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's all included. Um, and we'll work with um, the bar bride or, you know, our client, um, whatever they need. You know, uh, lots of brides want to use the trailer to take photos with their bridal party. Oh, sure. Um, uh, we have a good friend that's a photographer, and, um, you know, she likes to, you know, use it for some uh, backdrop photo events. Nice. Um, you know, so we'll work with um, whoever to, you know, meet their needs. Wonderful. And you also help out with finding bartenders, you were mentioning to me. Yes. That's yes. so fantastic because that can be a tough thing to do to find someone that will tend bar when you don't have the yes. traditional venue. It's true. It's um, really about having choices. Um, you know, this day there's just the... Uh, the opportunities are endless with designing or creating your own wedding. Everybody wants to be different mm -hmm. or a party. You know, they, they just want to be a little different. So you can not have a bartender if you, you know, care That's to. That's true. Or you can have an unlicensed bartender or a license. That might depend on your uh, venue. They, they might demand it. So you've got a lot of choices with us. Well, it sounds like a, a nice little one-stop shop for that part of the wedding and the reception having that bar they can get some context for the bartender and even a photographer it sounds like if they wanted to yes we've worked with a lot of um, people and we're trading cards and uh, we do want to get that on our website as a um, a page with you know all the great people that we've worked with you know um, we can provide ice for you we've got enough uh, old vintage ice chests metal ice chests oh, to provide cute. store about 250 pounds of ice but we've also dealt with a great ice guy that um, hauls his trailer out and you know what you use is what you pay for you know just we'd like to do that too that's it's so coming. great because it can be a little overwhelming I think for brides when they haven't been in that world before and they don't know where to start and who to reach out to and who's going to be reliable so that's great that they can come to you and start getting some suggestions yes it is nice well Chantal it sounds like you have just a great business going here and I wish you the best of luck with it I hope to see the last call travel bar in an event soon thank you great to have you thanks nice to be here